Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to this video. And I hope it really blesses you because for a while, um, I've, I've just been trying to put together in my mind how to put these videos out because I know that some people are um, getting different messages from numbers. Now, we're not talking about angel numbers. We're not talking about anything that is of the occult. Everything that we're talking about now is from the Holy Bibles, from the scriptures, the Dead Sea Scrolls, all of that, all of the above, but not angel numbers. You know that everything that is of the Lord, of our adversary, uh, Satan, always duplicates, replicates, copies it, and which angel numbers is just a, a replication of what uh, what God ordained and what he created. For we have a book in the Bible titled Numbers. So we know that numbers come from God. Um, I just wanted to get that out. Um, so, But um, this message is going to be for those who are seeing uh, these numbers. 555-212-414-1111. And then four, four, one. So it's kind of, you know, transposed a bit there with that four, one, four and a four, four, one. And some people are also seeing um, uh, four, four, four. So, you know, it's just, I guess it's just a, a matter of what you're seeing. Um, I want to talk about five, five, five. So five, five, five um, is relative to the book of Job. Um, it's about strength. It's about oppressing on all sides. So imagine your life being pressed on all sides, meaning everything in your life. It feels like everything is falling apart. It feels like you have just been hit with everything all at once. And it's just a matter of more so God allowing that pressing to happen because in that pressing, something's going to come out of you. And what comes out of you, it should be the light, should be a different person, should be a transformed person. Um, it should be a person who is ready for a significant change, ready for their king. Because some of this, some of these words, especially when we, we jump to 212, it talks about being ready for marriage. And we know that with the, the bride and the groom, we know that that also is a sick, uh, um, an indicator of, you know, Jesus coming back to the earth for his church, which is the bride. But, you know, in my prayer time and take this in your prayer time, that also is earthly. So you also could be getting a spouse. I don't really um, subscribe to the kingdom spouses and all that stuff like that. It could exist. I don't see it in the word of God, so I'm not going to go down that route. But some of you could be getting ready for marriage, especially the women. But definitely this could be for a man, too. So if you're seeing 555, do know that maybe all hell has broken loose in your life or it did or you're going through it now. Um, but do know that press through, go through. The only way through is through, you know, so you can't run from it. And in that pressing, something beautiful is going to come out of you. Uh, 212 um, in the Bible, it, it speaks of, well, Esther 212. I want to read that to you guys if I can pull it up. Um, Esther 212 speaks of, don't want to do right. Okay. So Esther 212, it says, um, so that will be chapter two and verse 12. <laughs> now, when every maid's turn was to come into the king, a harvest, after that, she had been 12 months according to the manner of women. Uh, for so were the days of their purifications uh, accomplished to wit six months with oil of myrrh and six months with sweet odors and with other things for purifying uh, the woman. Now, this talks about, you know, in Old Testament times, back in yesteryear, before you were to be presented to the king, you need to be purified. You needed to have that 555 go on in your life. You needed to have that pressing on all sides. You needed to get rid of, you fill in the blank, that emotional hurt, that physical hurt. You needed to 
really have your life um, kind of be unraveled so that it can then be uh, interweaven or uh, woven by uh, God, you know, his purpose, his will uh, manifesting in your life. So right now, a lot of you have gone through, are you going through that beautifying uh, ritual, that purifying ritual, like I just read for Esther 2, 1, 2. Now, before you go to the king, you got to go through, you know, all these beauty uh, rituals. Now, that talks about the outward you know, appearance of a person, but also could talk about the inward. If we're going to, you know, um, be figurative before you can get your, your spouse or before you can be presented to God or to other people as a teacher, as a leader, as a spiritual guide, um, you need to go through something in your life. You need to have your story written out in your body and in your heart so that you can tell people about God through you, right? So some of you right now have gone through that time of just beautifying yourself, dealing with that emotional hurt, dealing with that pain, dealing with all different things. And and now it's about time for you to be ready, especially if you're saying 414. Because... 414 in Strong's Concordance, um, it talks about oak. Now, every time you find oak in the Bible, uh, it, it was saying that, you know, they, they buried this person under an oak tree, the oaks of righteousness. We know that righteousness can only be ascribed to us by way of God, Jesus Christ, giving it to us. There's nothing that we can do to get righteousness, nothing. It's us as filthy rags, right? There's nothing we can do. So it's about that faith, right? That came from that 555, that pressing on all sides. And then you prepare yourself, dealing with yourself emotionally, mentally, physically. Maybe some of you needed to get in shape. Maybe you needed to change your entire life, right? And now that 414 talks about um, you being strong. Your strength has been shown to you, for God knows everything. He knows the beginning from the end. He knew if you were going to pass or fail, uh, you know, sink or swim. So now you you see that you're strong. and You see why you went through it. You see, you know, what it's happening for. So that's a great thing, especially if you're seeing a 414. The four, the number four, also talks about a door. And in Hebrew, uh, the four also um, it's about dimensions, relations, and time, so and space. So basically time. So now you're seeing how that time or that period in your life related to that thing that happened. And now you're seeing that now you have eyes to see that this time in your life is relating to what is about to happen, what is about to come. And it's also, once again, mirrors the message, the story of Jesus Christ returning to the earth. You're readying yourself emotionally, physically, mentally, and others possibly for the return of our Savior. But you're also uh, readying yourself, um, maybe even again, for your your spouse. What I got in prayer was that it was for both. Now, go to God in in terms of what that means for you. If you're going to get an earthly a king or queen, and we we know that our heavenly king is coming back to reign and rule. So we're we're absolutely ecstatic about that. We have no words. We're just grateful that it's coming. Um, and then lastly, the number four one four. All of you haven't gone. Well, let me tell you about what about what oak is now. Since you are oak, you are you are an oak of righteousness, right? Because you went through that five 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 uh, debacle. It was, it seemed like a debacle, but what seemed like was bad turned out for good for you, right? Um, now you're an oak. Now you're mighty. You're long. You have longevity. You have strength again, stability and endurance. So whatever life, whatever life hits you with now, it can't break you. It can't shake you. It can't kill you. You've been through it all. You see it all. You understand the ways. And, and, and the schemes of the enemy now, because you've been through this, you know it, and God was perfecting something in you, not just so he can bless you and give you all the desires of your heart, and so you can live like a king or queen on this earth, but it was more so, so that you can be a beacon of light to everyone else, and when they see the blessings that are on you, that God gave to you, they not only want to be around you, but they want what you have, they want that light, 
And what you're going to do is point them to the king. You're going to point them to God for nothing I have. It's because of myself. I, I have nothing uh, outside of God. So this is what God, um, you know, is getting you to, right? Is getting you to understand this. Um, also, uh, with the 414 and, and kind of the uh, four excuse me, the 441, it talks about being tame, docile, or docile. Um, it talks about being calm, but it also could talk about being yoked. So God had to yoke you to himself to show you his way, to help you understand that all of this bad that was happening to you or that is happening to you is not in, in, in um, because of you, but it's in spite of you, right? It's in spite of what's inside of you, for you have light inside of you. And what I'm trying to do is press you on all sides so that light can come out, all right? Because it's buried deep inside of you, right? So, so, so God had to yoke you to himself to tame you. And some of you now are in a better head space, mind space, heart space, where you have a clear heart, you have a clear mind, you have a clear conscience. Now God can use you and put you in that place where you need to be to have your kingdom uh, spouse. I don't even know why I said it, but your spouse or, or you are now ready to go out and speak to others and let your, li your life be a beacon of light to others, therefore leading them back to God, to Christ, to the gospel, the good news, you're actually set free. So this is a beautiful thing. If you're seeing these numbers, bless it to all of those who are seeing these numbers, okay? Keep in mind that when you hear the word blessing, it's not just good things, but it's a departing of the bad too, okay? So we want the blessing, but we've got to let that bad in us or that or that uh, negative or that evil in us go, right? So we got to go through something and, and you're going to face opposition in your blessing before you can get the blessing. So do know that. Do know that God is with you, that he loves you. Um, he's happy for you. The angels of heaven re rejoice that you have gone through, that you are through, um, that you're almost there, that some of you are there. Encourage yourself in the spirit when you feel like giving up. Put on that garment of praise. Praise him for what he's already done, for what he's getting ready to do, for what you don't even know what's going on, all right? And at this time, God is asking a lot of you to be docile, to be tame, to be calm, do nothing, because he's moving in the spiritual realm. You know, we know that everything happens in the spiritual before it happens in the natural, in, in reality, right? So let God move in that realm, and then you'll see him show up in your life, in the physical, okay? And praise him for all good things, for all good things come from the Lord of light above. So if it's a good thing, praise the Lord God above, all right? So I hope that this message blessed you. And I'll just go over the numbers again. 555-212-414 and 441. We are at a place of breakthrough. We know that the time is short and the time is near for our king to arrive and we're ready. And hopefully you're ready. If you're not ready, get into the word for faith comes by hearing the word. It will not come by you praying a simple prayer or saying, I want to be a Christian or I am a Christian. It's going to come by way of you hearing, reading that word. And that transformation is going to happen with inside of you or within you. Right. And, and then you can really know you can have assurance and you and nothing else, no one else, that you are saved from harm, ruin, and loss. That's what salvation is. I thank you for listening today. Many blessings to you. Keep in mind that if you need me to pray with you, if you would like that, you can always email me. The email address is below. It is lsthrone at gmail.com. I'm going to type it below because that might be wrong, guys. Um, Again, many blessings to you. It's a joyous time. It's a joyous occasion. What are you going through? I mean, come on. I'm going to tell my story. I'm going to tell it one day. Um, but whatever you're going through, do know that if you just press, if you just press through, I, oh, man, if you just press through, if you just continue to wake up every day, right? You choose you choose to wake up every day. You choose life and, and know that God is with you. All things 
will turn out for your good. Many blessings to you guys. Take care.